Morning guys, again. I would have just left some of you three minutes ago. As the old Vera Ling song said, We'll meet again. Don't know when. <laughs> Don't know when. I'm only joking, guys. Just waiting for a few guys to come on. I do apologise for that bad singing. Hi guys, morning. Yeah, it's still morning. I think it's Monday. <laughs> Hi Kath, how we doing? Hope you're doing well. This is not going to be too much of a beastly one today. We're going to go for a more of a... We're going to warm up. We're going to warm the legs up. And then we're going to have a stretch. So we're going to go for a little bit of a stretch today before we do anything. So there's going to be a mixture of stretching, kicking, a bit more stretching. We'll add some punches and stuff. So I'm just going to... Um, I think we've got enough on, so I hope you guys are doing well. Morning, calf. I've actually said hello to you this time. I hope you've not turned into a raving alcoholic yet. How was your one before we started this? What else we got? Okay. Little while I put my gloves on. Right, guys, so as I say, we're going to obviously start off with a warm up with a stretch based, um, leg stretch based class, and then we'll just do some content stuff. So I'm going to bow you in as we always do. I think I forgot last class. And then we're just gonna start by, we're just gonna start by jogging on the spot. That's it. And we're gonna start by, we're gonna do, we're gonna do 10 star jumps, then we're going into 10 squats. 10 star jumps, 10 squats. We're gonna go for a minute on this one, guys. Might get a bit boring, but so I'm gonna give you five, four, three, two, one. So 10 star jumps. And then you're going into 10 squats. That's it, and then into your star jumps again once you're done. And squats. And then obviously your star jumps are 10 10. Set. Keep going, you got 20 seconds. That's it. That's it, keep going. Keep going, you got 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One and time. Woo! This time we're gonna do we're gonna do a similar. We're gonna go into sumo squat this time. And we're just gonna touch the floor. So that's what you're gonna be doing. We're gonna go 30 seconds. We're gonna go from now, so quite wide leg. And then you're just gonna touch the floor back up. That's it, 30 seconds, go. That's it, so you're just touching the floor, keeping your back straight there. That's it. You should be feeling that stretch more in your groin area. So more to the inside of your legs. It's gonna be hitting your glutes a little bit. That's it. That's it, keep it going. That's it, you got five seconds. Four, three, two, one. And we're just gonna go into a slow high knee. So you don't have to do it fast. It's gonna go 30 seconds. That's it, keep it going. That's it, keep it going. That's it, keep going. You got 10 seconds left. We've got five, four, three, two, one, and time. So this time. We're just going to start by jumping and stretching our legs nice and light. So I'm going to go for um, shoulder width apart to start with. And you're just going to touch the floor. So you're just in this position, shoulder width apart. You're keeping your knees locked. We're just touching. Just going to stretch your legs off a little bit. So you can put your hands behind you. Or you can stick your 
arms out and obviously go down, that's quite painful. So say you're gonna feel some pain, a bit of discomfort, should I say. If you're feeling sharp pain, you need to stop. Just go from one side to the other. So just keep lightly stretching your legs. That's it. Then back up, just go on to your toes. Just gonna do some more high knees a little bit. That's it. There we go. That's it. We're just gonna stretch our quads off. So we're gonna go onto the floor. So there's two ways I like to do it. I could do it on my knees like this, and then I just lean back. So from this angle, I can't see. I'm on my knees. I'm leaning back. The stretch is all in my quads here. Just stretching them off. The other way is obviously sitting on the floor like that, and then obviously going back. So it's the same, same thing. Stretching them off. Just stretch your quads off for a little bit, guys. That's it. So just feeling that stretch. That's it, go for about another 10, 15 seconds. So just as I say, just gently stretching them quads. So say two ways to do it. I'm so you can do that. So you should be feeling that stretch in this area here. That's it, time guys. Right, so we're just gonna go straight into it. So you're just gonna sit on the floor. Put your legs as wide as you can get them. Obviously just naturally. And then, as I say, from there, all you're gonna do is the same as you used to do when you were standing up. You're just gonna stretch forward. Remember to breathe, guys. If you're gonna do a deep stretch, so you breathe in, and when you wanna do that stretch, you breathe out. And the same, remember to keep your knees locked. And then you're stretching from one side to the other. Just nice and gentle on this one, guys. So we're just starting to warm these legs up a little bit. Into the middle, that's it. It's just nice and gentle, you will feel, as I say, you will feel discomfort. That's it, any sharp pain and that stops straight away. As I say, just leaning over. That's it. If you can, try and put your legs a bit wider. It's a bit awkward for me like this, there we go. And then you're just doing the same again. We're just gonna go for about another 20 seconds on this. So just nice and gentle. Leaning forward, which is obviously getting them all in your groin area, into your inductor area. Just feeling that stretch. There we go. You've got 10 seconds, guys. Then what we're going to do is you're going to go straight to the butterfly stretch. Um, feet together. Um, I like to hold my ankles and obviously just push down with my elbows. So you're just pushing down. That's it. So it's gonna feel some discomfort, that's it. There we go. So you can you can hold on and then you can try and lean forward. It's a good stretch to do with a partner. Uh, we do it at Doncaster Club quite a bit, where obviously we've got a partner, somebody sat stood behind you, pushing down on your knees. So it's quite handy that you can do a stretch like this if you've got somebody to do it with. So there we go, keep going. I'll give you another 10 seconds on that one. You can release them and then push back down, there we go, you've got five seconds, that's it, and then you're going to stand back up guys, we're just going to go high knees again, just for about ten seconds, that's it, that's it, and right, we're just going to roll, we're going to roll them, we're going to roll your legs, that's it, there we go, we're just going to try and warm them back up again, that's it. That's it, and we're gonna go straight back into it. This time, we're gonna go back into our knees. And then what we're gonna do is from here, I've got one foot, my, my heels on the floor, toes are pointed to the ceiling. All I'm gonna do is slide out, and then we're gonna stretch. So you're just stretching the one leg at a time. So this is where you can find the right angle. So as you can see, I'm still on my knee. I'm just stretching this leg. You can obviously try and touch your toes. Lean into it, lean forward. So you're just stretching that one leg. We'll go for about 20 seconds. Don't hold the stretch for 20 seconds, but you can release it. 
back down, obviously into that position. So just stretching that one leg. Go for another 10 seconds on this side. That's it, if you want to lean it out a bit more. So, so you are going to feel discomfort. It can be a little bit painful, but as long as it's not really sharp, um, pain, not too bad. I'm going to swap legs, so same again. Go into this position, on your heel. You're sliding your heel down, and then you're just stretching the opposite leg. Same again, into this position, and then you're just stretching. Lean forward, you can lean more to the front, lean to the back. And so we'll do the same again, 20 seconds or so. Just nice and gentle, you just warm them up. That's it. There we go. Keep going, you've got about another five seconds or so. That's it. And time guys, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go straight into it. We're gonna go 30 seconds round those legs. You're gonna go 30 seconds off one leg, and then you're gonna swap your legs over. And as I said, just nice and simple, we're just gonna warm these legs back up again. It's nice and simple, you're just doing your round houses. And that's gonna that's gonna warm your legs up and you might start to feel that obviously your kicks have got a little bit higher. So you're just doing the round houses. That's all it is, you're just warming them legs up. We're gonna go 30 seconds from now. Go! So you're just, just practicing your round house. Also seeing what sort of flexibility you've got after that little stretch. So that's it. So remember, even when you're throwing your roundhouses, guys, you need to be on your kicking stands on your side, throwing that roundhouse. And when you're throwing the lead roundhouse, you should be feeling the stretch more in your right leg. So that's where that's coming from. So I can feel that in my leg there. That's it, keep going, guys. You've got another 30 seconds. That's it, keep it going. I mean, uh, 10 seconds to save. Keep going, you've got five seconds. Four, three, two, one. We're gonna swap sides. And I'm gonna go straight into it, just gonna do that roundhouse again. You're just practicing that roundhouse, warming your legs back up. That's it. You're just warming your legs back up. You might be able to feel that flexibility now. That's it. Keep going, you've got 10 seconds. Keep going, keep the roundhouses going. That's it. Keep them going. That's it, and time. We're going to go straight back into it again. We're going to do a little bit more stretch. We're going to do some content today, guys. But um, we're just going to do a bit more stretch. So this time, this one's going to be a bit harder. So what I like to do is I've got one foot that's flat on the floor. And then I've got one that's in the position before. It was on my heel. And then what you're doing is just sliding down. If you can see, I've got one foot flat, one's heel. So the, the majority of the stretch is going on the leg. With the, with the heel up, the same again, you're just going to stretch, you can lean forward, you can lean back a little bit, as you can see the, the, the flexibility is coming more, as I say keep going, we'll go for about another 15 seconds, if you need to you just release it a little bit, that releases the tension off, back down, stretching, so this is mainly for the hamstrings, this is obviously in my right leg, that's it, and then what I like to do is just go back into that position and then swap over. So that one's flat this time, the heel's going up. You might find one of your legs is not as flexible as the other. So we're going into that stretch this time. So you can lean forward, up, and just stretch it, stretch it, that's it. So we've got about another 15 seconds, just stretching onto that. That's it, keep going. That's it, and then back up, guys. Right. And then we're just going to roll these hips off again. We're going to roll them. That's it. Here we go. That's it. And last one, guys. We're going to really try and go for the um, box splits now. So, obviously, we've, we've been warming our legs up. We've obviously gone from that, we've gone from these angles, like that. And then what I want you to do now is just try and go down. See how far you can go down. So for me, if I'm just gonna go move back a bit, so I'm gonna go down, I'm gonna I'm, I'm go on my heels, go down, we stretch. So you just hold it, remember to breathe. So you can get to this position, and then if you want, you can try and sit on the floor a little bit. So then obviously that's giving you 
bit more of a stretch. As I say, you're going to feel discomfort, but uh, any sharp, really sharp pain, you need to stop straight away. That's it. So then you can go back up. That's it. So you're just stretching. That's it. Keep going for about another 10 seconds or so. So the set is just from there. You're going down. Obviously nice and gentle, slowly. And then you just ease yourself down. Remember to breathe. That's it. That's it, keep it going. We'll go for about another 20 seconds, that's it. Any type of stretching is good. So go down, that's it. Keep going, 15 seconds. That's it. So hopefully that stretch hasn't been too bad for you today. So time guys, we're just gonna re-warm these legs back up a little bit, man, I've got a little bit stiff. So we're gonna start with the high knees again. Just for 15 seconds or so. That's it, just to warm these legs back up. And then we're just gonna do 10 roundhouses off each leg. So you're just gonna do your roundhouses. You might feel that your legs are a little bit stiffer now. That's it, so you're just doing your 10 roundhouses. Once you've done them 10, swap over, swap your stands. Do the 10 off the other leg. And then once you've done that, guys, grab yourself a drink, grab your gloves, and then we'll do some punching and kicking. Woo! Ah. Ah. So hope you guys are doing well. Hi Tony. <laughs> Woo. So I hope that wasn't too bad for your legs guys, obviously it's important to stretch. Um, I wouldn't advise to have a, a really deep stretch every day, if you're going to stretch guys, so say like if you stretch, have a decent stretch on a Sunday, I'll probably wait till Tuesday or Wednesday to do some more, you need to give your, your tendons and your ligaments time to heal, especially if you've done a quite hard one. So right guys, we're just going to keep it simple. We're going to do some kicks. So, as I said, nice and simple. We'll start off with the nice and simples. It is just going to be your jab, your cross, your lead hook. We're going to go for a double lead roundhouse. So, you've got your jab, your cross, that hook's taking me sideways. I'm into my kicking stance, backhand's nice and tight. And then we're just going to go for that double roundhouse. If you need to, you can go one roundhouse and then two. And that's it. So, it is just jab. Cross, lead hook, double lead roundhouse, that's it. If you want to, you can do one to the legs, one to the head. So it can be jab, cross, lead hook. You just go for that double roundhouse. Nice and simple. What I want you to do, guys, is do it on both stances. So it can be jab, cross, hook, double roundhouse. Swap your stance over. Jab, cross, hook, double roundhouse. There we go. So work it off both stances, we're gonna go for two minutes, we're gonna go from now. So just nice and simple, jab, cross, hook, double lead roundhouse. Swap your stance, jab, cross, hook, double lead roundhouse, that's it. That's it. You might find your legs feel a little bit more heavier after that stretch, they'll warm up as you, as you train. That's it, so it's just a jab, cross, hook, Double lead roundhouse, swap your stance over, jab, cross, hook, double lead roundhouse, there we go. That's it, keep it going. Just so nice and simple to start with. Jab, cross, hook, double roundhouse. Swap your stance, jab, cross, hook, double roundhouse, that's it. There we go, keep it going. We've got about another minute. So it's gonna be. That's it. That's it, keep it going. That's it. That's it, keep it going guys. That's it. You've got a minute left, keep it going. If you want to do it slow, you can do it slow. Jab, 
cross, hook, roundhouse, roundhouse, there we go. That's it. Keep it going, 50 seconds. Nice and simple. Jab, cross, hook. That's it. That's it, keep it going. That's it, you've got 40 seconds left. So just. That's it. That's it, keep it going. You've got 30 seconds left. Keep it going. That's it. That's it, keep it going. You've got 15 seconds left, guys. Keep it going. That's it. And again. That's it. You've got three, two, one. 30 seconds of squats again. We're going to go shoulder width apart for these ones. Warm these legs back up again. 30 seconds. There we go, keep it going. Keep it going. There we go, you got 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and time guys. Grab yourself a quick drink if you need one. And then we'll get straight on. Woo! Hope you guys are doing well, keeping positive. I saw you getting your hair shaved yesterday, Tony. I didn't actually see if that ponytail's gone now. <laughs> to be honest, I've been talking about doing it myself. <laughs> I'm receiving more than the. Um, I'm receiving more than White Cliffs of Dover, Tony. <laughs> I'll give you another five seconds, guys. Woo. Right, guys, so we're going to uh, hand combination now. It's just nice and simple. You're going to be guiding your stance again. As you can see, guys, the stance, elbows tucked in. I've got my jab, cross. Lead hook, rear elbow, and then from there, we're gonna fire a, a lead uppercut. So in that nice hand combination, it's just gonna be a jab, cross, lead hook, rear elbow, lead uppercut. So it's gonna be. That's it, we're gonna go for two minutes. So two minutes, you up on your toes, you can up on your toes, then plant it. Sa, sa. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, don't have concentrate on my guard. <laughs> Jab, cross, hook, rear elbow, lead uppercut. Jab, cross, hook, rear elbow, uppercut. So guys, obviously don't be doing it too fast if you're struggling with your guard. I still sometimes do, I sometimes forget. So as I say, nice and simple, jab, cross, that hook, you're coming in with that elbow, my guard's tight there, and then you bring that guard back before you throw that elbow, uh, uppercut, jab, cross, hook, ah, elbow, uppercut, that's it, so it's just, that's it, keep it going, you got about another minute, 50 seconds, minute, 10 seconds, guys. So just jab, cross, lead hook, rear elbow, lead uppercut. That's it, keep it going, guys. 50 seconds. Just, ah, oh, why am I doing stats? It's an adult class. <laughs> That's it. That's it, keep going, 30 seconds. You got your jab, cross, lead hook, right elbow, right uppercut. That's it. That's it, keep it going, 20 seconds. That's it. You got 10 seconds left, keep it going. You got your jab, cross, hook, right elbow, right uppercut. That's it. 
and time we're going to go into the wide sumo squats this time so a bit wider and you're just going to touch the floor you can actually do a little jump so we're going to go 30 seconds i want a wide leg i'll give you five seconds four three two one we're going to go for that wide leg little jump that's it There we go, keep going. You got 15 seconds, keep it going. That's it, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 15 seconds, grab yourself a drink and then we'll get straight on. Woo! So we're going to add on, so it'll be a bit of a bigger combo. So we've already got our jab, cross, that hook, that rear elbow, that rear uppercut. We're gonna go for a rear front kick, lunge to the back. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna step over and we're gonna go for a turning side kick or a turning back kick. So you're just gonna back kick that. So you can have be a turning side kick all the way around. Or you can go for that back kick. From there you're twisting, you're looking, and you're just firing that back kick in. So two types of kick, you've got your twist over, turn your side kick, or you've got the one where you, you just look, you turn back, you can see where you're kicking, and then you're kicking up, that was, that was rubbish, don't, don't copy that one. So as I said, what we're going to do, so that first part of that combo was jab, cross, hook, rear elbow, rear uppercut, lead uppercut should I say, we're going to go rear front kick, then take a step, and just throw that side, turn your side kick or back kick. We're gonna go for two minutes. So one more time, after you've thrown that rear front kick, you land it to the back, you take a step, turn, you've got to turn your body, turn your back, as you can see, you can see my, my back now, and then from there, you're just firing that kick in. That's it, we're gonna go two minutes. We'll go from now, so it's just, step over, kick. That's it, land it to the front, step back into your stance. Jab, cross, Hook, rear elbow, lead up a cut, rear front kick, take that step over, kick. That's it. Here we go. That kick is just, you step in, you can turn, back kick, or turn your side kick. Round and side kick, there we go. So it's just. Take a step. That's it. Take a step. There we go. That's it. Keep going. Got about a minute left. So it's just jab, cross, hook, rear elbow, lead up a cut, rear front kick, turn your side kick or back kick. There you go. That's it. Keep going, You've got about 30 seconds. So just take that step, turn, bow. There we go. That's it, so take that step. I did, I did, I did the side kick there. And kick. That's it, you got 10 seconds left. Keep it going. Woo! That's it, and time guys. Before we finish, we're just gonna, if you want to, you can just practice that. So from if I see my boxing stance, from there, I'm just taking that step, I'm turning my full body, so my back's facing, I can see my target, and then we'll just kick it. So if you want to practice that, it's just a step, turn your body, kick. Step, turn your body, kick. That's it. Uh, okay. So I'm just going to practice that for about a minute. So you can do that turning side kick or turning back kick. So if you're just going to take that step, you're going to turn your full body, and my back's facing you guys, I can look it over my shoulder, and then we'll just kick it. That's it. So you step over. That's it. That step. You've got to look where you're kicking. That's it. I remember your backhand. I think I, might, I forgot that then. <laughs> so you step, 
Over, club. That's it. Step, back kick. That's it. To keep going, go about another 30 seconds on this one. If you want to, you can do it as a side kick. And then, that's it. Keep going, 15 seconds. So step, turn your back. That's it. Step. That's it. Keep going, I'll give you another 10 seconds. You're just stepping over, twisting your body around. I'm looking. That's it. Whew. And time, guys. So, um, get yourself a quick drink. We'll have a really gentle stretch because we're at the, a 15 minute stretch at the beginning of the class. Uh, I hope your legs are too sore. As I say, I do recommend if you're going to stretch at least three times a week, if you're going to do more of like a harder stretch, give you, uh, your muscles and your ligaments and tendons time to heal so they get used to it. There's nothing worse than if you do a really hard stretch and then the next day you're aching all over. It's not, it's not advisable to stretch that day. You need to let them heal. So right guys, we're just going to finish off with a quick stretch. Um, we're going to go back again, back onto our knees. I'm just going to finish off with that gentle stretch. So you're going to put one heel up and you're just going to lean into it. So you're just stretching this one leg. As I say, you can lean forward, you can lean back. As you can see, I'm still, still on my knee. This one's down. As I say, you're just stretching. You can lean forward. As I say, if it starts to hurt, you can release the pressure. That's it, back in. So you just stretch it like that, guys. And then obviously once you've done that side, back onto your knees, then obviously back onto this one, stretching the other leg out. So the same again, you can go forward. You find the angle that you need for the stretch. And that's it. That's it. So as I say, guys, as I said at the beginning of the class, I like to do that and now I like to go straight into it. Obviously, I'm not asking you to do that now, but it's a good way of uh, practicing that. And then obviously practicing that stretch like that. Whew. And then we're just gonna stretch our quads off standing up today. So again, grab the heel, grab your ear. If you've got a balance problem like me, and you're just stretching your quads, so you're stretching this area. I'll say hold the ear. That's it. And then swap over. That's it, so you're gonna stretch that one off. As I said, I showed you that stretch, uh, quad stretch before, you can do it on your knees. There we go. So just stretching that off. There we go. We'll just shake these legs off a little bit. And I'm just gonna finish off with a little chest stretch again. So we're just finishing off with that chest stretch. So we can stretch like that. You can do the elbow one where you, it looks like you're doing back elbows. That's it. And obviously rolling. You can roll them in little, little circles. And obviously the other way, just to warm everything back up. That's it, so you don't get too stiff. That's it, guys. And I've overrun a bit, so I better get going. It's been an absolute pleasure. As I do believe, I think, um, I think Chris, might be, Chris Crump might be taking the family class next. And I think we've got Chris and Kay doing the Zooms this afternoon. Lee's on tonight doing his stuff. So I hope you all have a fantastic day, guys. Enjoy the classes, and we'll see you soon, guys. I'm going to bow you out. As we all know, hands and feet together, courtesy and respect. Have a fantastic day, guys. Bye!